If you read the mainstream press or listen to the police, you could be persuaded that so-called far-right terrorism is a growing and very specific menace facing British society. But is that true? Well, there are two major points to make on this. And the first one is that the term far-right has been so widened that it includes anyone, essentially, who isn't on the far left. If you have any objection, however reasonable or moderate, to mass immigration, you will be labelled far-right. If you don't believe that men should be competing in women's sports, you'll be labelled far-right. And if you have any criticism at all, or even any questions about Islam, you will be labelled far-right. Uh, so no matter who you are, if you have any objections to the mainstream rhetoric that you're supposed to accept without question, you will be labelled far-right. You will then be unpersoned, your rights taken away. So the term far-right is huge now. It's huge. It includes decent, ordinary, reasonable people who just object to the status quo. So that's far right. And that's point number one. Point number two. Now, I'm not a saying, I'm not suggesting that there is no far right in the UK. There is, as there is in every country. But the fact is, it's tiny and it's powerless. The chances of the real far right coming to power anytime soon are, well, minimal at best. So what about far left terrorism? Can the same be said for that? Well, first of all, unlike far right, far left isn't labelled as such. You won't hear the press label Jeremy Corbyn, for example, far left or communist or even to, or to talk about communism at all. They're not labelled far left as a starting point. They're certainly not labelled terrorists, despite the evidence that le members of the Labour Party and associated groups are engaging in political violence. Secondly, the far left, the Antifa, Hope Not Hate, uh, UAF, Stand Up to Racism, all these various groups which I have personal experience of who engage in criminal activity are many of whom are members of the Labour Party. Now here's the, where the power point comes in. The far right has no party in Parliament. The far left its party in Parliament is the official opposition. The far left is intimidating, shutting down events, harassing people in an attempt to bring Jeremy Corbyn into Downing Street. So the far left and its street thuggery is on the verge of power, while the far right has no power at all. Now, I said I have personal experience of these groups, and I have. You'll know that I was kept out of a hostings when I stood in a parliamentary by-election in Lewisham. Uh, the police thought it best to keep me away rather than the people assaulting and intimidating uh, attendees at that event. But recently, I was ambushed by Antifa, who bragged about their exploits on Twitter, um, and, and, and basically thrown out of Whitechapel, where I was having a perfectly lawful evening uh, doing a historical walk around the area. Now, we will pursue this. We've pursued Lewis Chemis, we still are, and we will pursue the police and leaders with, uh, with regard to what happened in Whitechapel. But where is the press on this? Where, is the, where are the newspapers? Where are the journalists? Why didn't they cover that our hustings had to be shut down by left-wing thugs? Why aren't they covering covering the fact, and I wrote to newspapers in the East End of London, no interest. They're not interested in covering the fact that innocent, law-abiding people were driven out of Whitechapel by threat of violence, by thugs, some of them wearing masks. No interest at all. And yes, many of these will be active members of the Labour Party, a party that could form a government. People have left the Labour Party, including uh, stalwart MPs like Frank Field, left citing a, a culture of intimidation and harassment inside the party, because any moderate voice inside the Labour Party is being expelled. This is serious. It is far more serious than a group of aimless thugs who have no chance of gaining any power and who are opposed by the press, by leaders uh, and by the police. They're completely, two completely different scenarios. The far left are extending their reach as well. I saw recently on Twitter that George Galloway has been unable to secure venues. Uh, he is standing in the general election in West Brom and he's unable 
able to secure venues to hold public meetings because left-wing thugs associated with the Labour Party, according to him, and no surprise to me, are getting these venues shut down. For Britain knows this of old. We also know that women's groups are having their events closed down. They've even been subject to bomb threats by hard left groups, yes, no doubt associated with the Labour Party, who won't allow them to discuss the fact that they don't believe that men can become women. This is insanity. It's utter insanity. Uh, and I, I link to a blog below with further details on the insanity that is taking place. Like women being thrown out of a transgender event by police. One woman was physically removed by seven police officers because she believes that men are not women. This is the hard left on the street demonstrating its violent thuggery and shutting down political events it doesn't agree with. It is aligned with the Labour Party. Many are members of the Labour Party and Stand Up to Racism, a particularly vile little group of thugs, is headed by Diane Abbott, who after this general election could be the Home Secretary. This is serious and it must be opposed and it must be fought. For Britain, it'll come as no surprise to you, we'll fight this every step of the way but we will do it the way we must do it at the ballot box and lawfully if we put a foot wrong we're in trouble so we will do this in a civilized manner we will fight them at the place that they the only place we can at their ballot box we need a complete cultural shift in this country we need to replace the senior police who are allowing this to happen and above all we need to replace the spineless disgraceful politicians who are allowing this country to turn from a democracy into one of left-wing mob rule join us and fight back